In this video, I'll go over how to import data from a website into LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and video tutorials on how to use Calc software. Sometimes you might come across a web page like Wikipedia or some other resource site and they have a table with data that you're interested to copy or work within your spreadsheet. The typical way is simply to select what you want and do a basic copy and paste into the spreadsheet. But the downsides of that is sometimes it's hard to select what you want just because the nature of the web page or the table is so large that you'd have to keep going. So here I'll give it a try. I'll select from the top and with my mouse I just go down the web page and this will take quite a bit. So I'll just stop here and I'll do a manual copy by pressing Control C on my keyboard. Then back in Calc, I'll paste by pressing Control V. So now that I paste it in, the format looks quite strange with the overlapping image. Now we can always resize some columns and adjust the formatting as necessary, but sometimes using Calc's built-in external links dialog can produce a better result. So now I'll demonstrate it by creating a new sheet and I'll choose where the table ought to go and we'll go to sheet and click on external links. Now the external data dialog appears and I'll just put in the website address into the blank. The website address is here, and I'll copy this. I also include this in the video description in case you want to follow along and try this for yourself. I'll paste it in, and I'll press enter. Here it gives me some import options. I'll choose for it to detect special numbers, and I'll click on OK. After a few seconds, it has detected different tables on the web page. So we can see here the different table names are HTML underscore starting from all and it goes from one and all the way to six. Depending on the web page you're using, you might have more or less available in the list and you might have to take your best guess as to which one to target. Here, HTML1 has a description to it. So my guess would be this is the one to use. Now there's an option for it to update frequently. This is a neat feature if the source you want actually has updated information every once in a while. In this scenario, I don't need to update it because it only changes every four years. So I'll go ahead and choose OK. And after about a minute, it loaded the data in here for me. So I could take a quick look. It does have the president's name in column D. And if I scroll all the way down, it does include every president. In my opinion, this is a little bit easier to work with, but as you can tell, there are a lot of rows that seem to be hanging out by itself with data. This is very typical whenever copying and pasting from any source besides Calc itself. It just requires a little bit of cell cleanup by doing some sorting or deleting some columns and rows that are not necessary. So I'll let you be the judge. Does something like this in Sheet 2 look better or would something in Sheet 1 look better to you? Now your website might give you different results so it's always good to try both and then go on from there. I hope this has been helpful for you. Have a great week and happy spreadsheeting. Thank you for watching and as always, stay nifty.